When most people think of Athens, they think of it as just a stopover city, but I was really curious to see what Athens has to offer. So join us as we spend five beautiful days on our first visit to Athens, Greece. So we just got out of the airport and now we're in the Athens metro station area, which is pretty wide and spacious. We picked up these two Athena tickets. I don't know if you can see them here. These tickets will give us a 90 minute ride an airport transfer from here, Athens Airport, to the city center of Athens. Cannot wait. The total cost for two of these tickets, about 11 euros for both Mahan and I to go, but individually the unit price is about 5 euros 50 plus um, that on top of that. So we've got our Athena tickets and now we're gonna head. There's one way to the platforms, which is the way that we are going. At Frolic and Courage, I like to help you plan well, have fun, and travel the world. And so, public transportation in Athens is pretty quick and affordable. This train only took us 54 minutes to get from the airport to the city center. We made it! And here's our first official look at Athens, Greece. There's a lot going on here. So next, we have to get to the hotel, right, hon? Yep. yep. Yeah, all these streets are a little bit crazy. I'm trailing my luggage here. And look at the beautiful art. Lots of little shops. Lots of people just a little bit everywhere. To plan well for a trip to Greece, I recommend staying at a centrally located hotel. We stayed at the Editor in Monasteraki Square, which is minutes away from everything, and it was the perfect home base for our trip. Stay tuned for another video where I'll do a full room tour, but for now, let's go exploring. Y'all, it's day one of Athens. We have made it. We're walking to our bike tour, and there's just like ancient ruins just like hanging out over here. And look on our route, just the Acropolis, like just hanging out right up there. It's gorgeous. Just walking along the way to the bike tour. Plenty of spaces to eat. Because this was our first visit to Athens, Greece, we wanted to understand the layout of the city, as well as check out some lesser known spots and scenic points of interest. What better way to do that than with a bike tour? Yes, we've got three different speeds. I've got my assist going on strong here. Very nice. Feeling good, hon? Funny story, when we were in Italy, we were going up this hill, we had like a couple minutes to spare to catch the train back to the cruise ship. And uh, we took electric bikes, we rented them, and apparently Hun's electric assist did not work. And so my sister and I were like, why is he taking so long? Why is he so slow? It's because his e-assist didn't work and he didn't tell anybody. So now it looks like, not only is it working, but he's teaching at the same time. So looking to have a good time. Cool thing about Athens is there is legitimate marble just hanging out in the streets, just everywhere. It's amazing and crazy at the same time. Wow. And we're off on the bike tour. We are off on the bike tour. Woohoo! So much fun, so easy with the e-bikes. E-bikes are the best. Our guide Denai was awesome. Having been born and raised in Athens, she not only gave us the history of ancient Greece, but also she commented on present times, taking us to beautiful sites like Imitos Mountain, which I never would have went to on my own. We saw the most stunning views of the city and we were so excited to check out more. The beauty of the bike tour is you get to see different views of the city. And y'all can check this one out. Built really tall buildings here because of the Acropolis and because of the earthquakes wow. that we have. So, oh, yeah. Oh, does this have a. So, we are on break from our bike tour and we came across the largest church here in Athens. Because I cannot get over how amazing the floors are here and this beautiful, like, diamond pattern all around absolutely stunning and then there is a little bit more of an ancient church right next door to the largest church and we're about halfway done with the bike tour what do you think oh this is nice this is my second time on an e-bike and so far i haven't had no problems the views were amazing i think it's well worth it we just saw some of the most stunning views of the hidden entire gems city too. yeah hidden gems yeah, yeah. and mixed in with a bunch of like facts and history and it's just really cool to, you know, ride around the city with someone who is born and raised in Athens. 
or nearby Athens and who works here for, you know, a living. Because there's so much insight that you don't really get if you're just wandering around. I mean, you could do it, but it's just so much more fun when you do it on an electric bike. Get somebody from the local. <laughs> right. With a local guide and a fun group of international people. We have people from uh, New Zealand, Massachusetts, Qatar, Texas. London, and then here we are from the DC area. So it's always a good time. Always. Now we better continue on our tour. These little shops on our bike ride in Placa are amazing. After about three hours, our bike ride was coming to an end. We strolled through the Placa neighborhood, the Athens National Garden, the Olympic Stadium, as well as Hadrian's Library, along with the Temple of Zeus. We had worked up quite the appetite, so time for our very first meal in Athens. For starters, we have aubergines and zucchini topped with feta cheese and a spicy tomato base sauce. Mm, mm, mm. And of course, I have a little bit of a lemonade here. And with more water and the freshly baked bread, which is really, really like soft and really good. Let's give this a shot too. Give this a try. Let's give this a shot. We got a big piece of egg here. Mm -hmm. It's not too spicy at all. It's a really mild flavor, strong cheese. Nice little light snack. Well, that's why it's a starter. Very delicious. Kind of makes your mouth water a little bit, huh? As you can see, we're pretty much out of it. Now we're gonna go to our second dish. Give that a try too. The one with the delicious beef and potatoes and peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The beef is so tender and so flavorful. This has like a smoky flavor to it, huh? But you can tell it's well seasoned. It has a little bit of a smoky flavor. The potatoes are well cooked. Onions are plant. Peppers are great. Yeah. What was that, hun? Everything is seasoned. Yeah, yeah. Everything is seasoned really well. Something I learned about cooking is you have to season your food. Mm -hmm. I remember I made a turkey burger. And I didn't put any seasoning on it. Oh man, it was nasty. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that was. Season makes the big difference. Exactly. The seasoning makes a huge difference. I bet you that turkey burger was dry. It was dry. I tried to put some. I tried to put some ketchup just to make it taste better. I learned my lesson. All right, and now look. See what happens when you have a seasoned plate, seasoned food. You have nothing left on the plate. Not a thing. So let me finish mine. Cause I need to keep up with you. <laughs> look what just arrived. Our delicious meatball dish. Oh, that looks so good with a little yogurt on top. Yeah. Wonder what this is. Jumping back on here to say the meatballs are on point. They have this nice, really light, like a yogurt sauce, and then I don't know what the green sauce is, but together they work. And these meatballs are nice and thick. Oh, and then it comes with these like chips. At first, you're like, oh, these are just potatoes. They should be soft, but they're not. They're actually like homemade potato chips. Have y'all seen a chip this dense before? Like this sucker is thick. Like listen to this crunch. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little ASMR. And I'm gonna finish up with the rest of my meal. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How could we not? How could we not end the night with a delicious Mommy's Arcadian baklava?
I mean, look at this, those layers. Yo, uh, crispy dough with honey and nuts. Delicious with a bit of yogurt on the side. How is it? It's really good. Creamy, but I, I can't tell you what it is. You have to know what it is. Uh, oh, come on, come on. It's like a yogurt. While you're eating that, sir, I am going to try this baklava. I feel like with baklava, you just want to just take the whole thing and just shove it in your mouth. Oh, yeah, look, just like nice. that. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look what's inside, y'all. Look what's inside. All right, I need two hands for this. Yeah, so the baklava is delicious. Incredibly sweet. Layer after layer after layer. Hen said, I'm tired of holding the camera. I want some more baklava. <laughs> Look at the food. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh. 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 Do it again. Just duck. <laughs> I'll give you some ice. Okay. We'll be fine. Uh, thank you. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> You want ice or no? Yeah. We just finished eating and we give that meal a solid 9 out of 10. That was really, really good and really, really flavorful. Can't deny that at all. Now we're just walking back to the hotel. Oh, a note about the restaurant. If you sit in the back, make sure to duck if you are tall. Or she might get hurt. Yeah. Oh! I'm not saying that from experience. Another fun fact about Athens is that there is a ton of graffiti here. I mean, look at this. All filled with graffiti, even across the street. Can y'all see the graffiti across the street too? I mean, like, covered. Everything is, like, covered. It doesn't mean anything, you know? There's not there's, like, gang symbolism or anything like that. Don't be off-put. Just because there's graffiti doesn't mean you're in some, like, bad, quote-unquote, neighborhood. It just means that there's just a lot of graffiti. Anything you want to say? Anything? Oh, like you said, just make sure you duck inside the restaurant because I hit my head. Yeah. Um, coming out, I hit it twice. I know, twice. And the funny thing is, he was joking with the woman there beforehand. Yeah. Before we ate. He was just like, ha ha, you better duck or she get a free dish. Ha ha ha. And on the way out, it was like thud. Yeah. Oh! Food was still good though, right? Oh yeah, it was still good, yeah. All right, y'all, we'll see you for another day tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Our second day in Athens is all about the food. We booked a private walking food tour to start off, and our guide Annabella took us to all kinds of different places, from cafes to delis to shops and markets, the popular and the hidden gems. She also shared interesting facts about the city and the each neighborhood that we went to, and gave us some great tips on where to eat. So let's get into it. So here we have one square, the name is Iron. Iron means hero. And here we have a tavern nice for food. Hidden. The street is Mykonos. Mykonos like Street, island. yes. <laughs> so if you don't go to Mykonos, you can get to Mykonos Street. street. <laughs> and still get a little of yes. what you need. So here it is full of places with food. Yeah? Yeah. It used to yeah. be dangerous, but now it's trendy. Exactly. The people came here to eat. <laughs> For a coffee drink here in the corner is good for dessert. Here we will go to the right. Wow, yes, there's lots of places here. Yes. Wow. First stop on our food tour is Creme Royale. The beauty of this tour is that we didn't have to pay for anything out of pocket other than the fee of the tour. So we got to eat to our heart's content. Spinach, leek, Sweet. feta, sheep. goat, and sheep cheese. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have five stops more. Oh, so <laughs> yes. don't get full in the first stop. Okay. Definitely not. Mm. I did the wedding. Wow. It's really good, huh? Always good. Mm -hmm. Barbacus agora. Barbacus agora. Yes. Is the meat from the fish market? In the beginning, we will see. Our next stop in the tour was this meat and seafood market. They had everything from racks of lamb to heads of animals to fish. 
nothing went to waste in this market. Everything could be made for soup with spices. It was really a great place to be. Next, we stopped by Mocha Specialty Coffee, which serves traditional Greek coffee. Y'all, I'm not a coffee person, but I ordered mine extra sweet, and it was really, really thick and delicious. And y'all, these reviews are all my own. I'm not getting paid or sponsored for this. Our next stop was to get fresh olives, where I learned that olives aren't actually black and don't come in a can. The natural olives are actually colored. Then we stopped by the Artist Hotel for a nice little let's just say private sitting of a delicious Greek salad, which doesn't have any lettuce in it, by the way, as you can see, as well as tomato bread, yogurt, different types of tapenades. It was absolutely amazing. And I stuffed my face here just as well. After this stop, we continued our tour. And y'all, Athens has a lot of cats, but we stopped by Fotsi, which is the oldest spice shop in Athens. I wanted to take something back that was unique and delicious for my trip. So I picked up some fresh oregano and mountain tea, which has similar properties as green tea, but a little bit smoother. I was so happy. Continuing on our tour, we went to Taste Teatro Tosteki, where we had some of the best dishes that we had in Athens, as well as a few drinks to start. Cheers, or yamas, as they say. It's kind of tastes like a black licorice. Yes. yes. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what we ate, we had fried zucchini balls with homemade Greek yogurt sauce, which was delicious, toasted bread, the olives we picked up earlier that day, eggplant, a cheese spread, as well as a seafood medley. We have seating both outdoor on this side, as well as right across the street. And it's right across the street from this old but gorgeous building. A little boarded up, but that's all right. You can tell we ate pretty much everything, and babes, finishing it off. <laughs> How was it, huh? It's delicious. Everything here we had was on point. I recommend all the things we got. All, absolutely everything. The biggest shocker for me were the actual anchovies. Like, typically, you know, you get these thing of anchovies like in a can with like grease and water. These were not that. They were lightly fried, so there was a crisp on the outside. No bones. Uh, fully marinated, fully flavored, battered, fried. So, so good. The crunch was perfection. The batter was well seasoned. You don't get like an overwhelming salty taste from any of it. I mean, it's it was on point. Um, so now, time for dessert. Here we go. Now we're in the financial district where we have the Bank of Greece. A little bit of the modern meets the traditional. Here we go. Founded in 1923. This used to be a bakery, or it used to be a pharmacy, but now it's turned into a bakery. You could see remnants of the old pharmacy right there. Lucomares here, which is like a donut with cinnamon and fresh honey. Delicious. After scarfing down this plate of Lucomares, we continued on with our tour, and woo, we were so glad that it was a walking tour because we were getting full and needed some way to walk off all that delicious food. Annabella took us through different neighborhoods and winding streets, and we ended up at one of the most popular kind of mom and pop shops called Costa Souvlaki where they serve very affordable, delicious handmade souvlaki and pitas in different varieties. You have got to give it a try if you come to Athens, Greece. And I'll link this tour in the description box down below if you're interested as well. This looks so good. One beef and one pork. Mm. Which would you choose, beef or pork? Pork yeah, or beef? Yeah. Looks like it's about like five pounds. How is it? 
good way. What you said, French fries, tomatoes, onions, and a little bit of pork. We just finished our food tour. It was fantastic. Annabella did an amazing job. We were full. I mean, this was probably one of the best food tours we've been on, would you say, huh? Oh yeah, most definitely. Highly recommended. I'll put all the information in the description box below. Ask for Annabella. Go on the private tour. They have private tours and group tours, and by far the private tour was so good. You get individual attention. You can go at your own pace. I'm a slow eater, <laughs> but I love food, so we were able to go at a good, reasonable pace. Now we ended where we started from, in Monsteriki Square. There's a lot going on here. There is the flea market, which is behind me. There are old churches, there is the mosque right over here. Of course, the ruins up above. So there's a lot going on in this market. We're gonna go explore it and see what we can find. Shopping, look for stores that are underground as well as above ground. So you'll find shops like souvenir shops here and then watch your step because there are places down there too. Fun little fact. And again, marble is still everywhere. It's insane. There's a ton of jewelry shops, a ton of like textiles, spices. There's a lot of everything, so you have to look above and below for something good. I didn't want to bring my camera, but we are headed to CTC. It is a Michelin star rated restaurant in Athens for my technical birthday dinner. We're just going along the streets now. I think it'll be fun. It's actually going to be a blind tasting, y'all, of 11 courses. What a blind tasting is, is you don't know what's on the menu until you get there. So it should be fun. I'm excited. Definitely something different. So come along with me and you get to see in real time right with us what exactly we're going to eat. CTC Urban Gastronomy is a Michelin-starred restaurant that serves inventive, unique Greek cuisine in an outdoor environment. I was happy that we had blankets as well as heat lamps, but this menu was incredible. Everything we had was delicious, and it's not as it seems, which is why I love Michelin restaurants. The chef went all out creating sophisticated and delicious dishes. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind culinary experience, I highly recommend CTC. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. We hope you found this video enjoyable, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.